Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. You're looking at two 380 ACP handguns made by Carr. Well, let's take a closer look, then we'll talk more about it. Two 380 ACP handguns made by Carr. Here is the CT380 and this is the CW380. Now you may be asking why I have two 380 handguns. Well, for the longest time I wanted the Carr P380. But that gun is usually priced over $600. It does have the polygonal barrel rifling, two mags in the box, and some more detailed machining on the slide. But for $600 you get a great gun, but in this case, these two guns... You can find them on GunBroker under $300. So I was actually able to get two for the price of one. I'm sticking with Car. Now the conventional rifling in the barrel, honestly, I have not noticed a difference. So the, the decrease in price is well worth it for me. Most likely well worth it for you. Let's take a closer look. I brought out some other car handguns to give you a size comparison from largest to smallest. Here we have the car CT9 and the most excellent car CM9. Been carrying this for over four years now. And here's the CT380, much smaller and thinner. And the ultra small, very compact CW380, all car arms, handguns, I love them. Let's first take a look at the CT380. The CT models are the value series from car. And I've reviewed the 9mm, the 40, and the 45, and they all share many excellent features. First, it's the quality and craftsmanship that Car Arms offers. Secondly, they just have a great feel and reliability to them. They all have the bar dot sight system on there. This one here has a 7 round magazine of 380, and it is very, very thin. Look at that. I brought out the CM9 to give you a comparison. I used to carry a 380. Stop doing that because I got this CM9, but this makes a great option. Look at the difference between the thickness of the grip. And so, you know, for a pocket gun or a secondary gun, you just can't beat it. The trigger pull is right around six pounds. Nice, clean break. Really enjoy it a lot. Just below that is the CW. 380. Now this gun is essentially the same thing except for it holds six rounds instead of seven. And obviously that would make a difference in the length of the grip. Okay, so it's a little bit little bit longer grip on the CT, shorter on CW, and about a half inch shorter. Pocket carry all day long. Uh, get a holster, throw it on the back, you don't even know it's there. Really excellent gun. Once again, this one's unloaded. Same exact trigger pull, same exact mechanics and craftsmanship all around. Excellent. Let's do some shooting. The only differences you're going to notice with the two guns is obviously the additional round that the CT holds. Then the barrel length of 3 inches on the CT is where the CW, it's 2.58 inches. And the sights are both bar dot, but they are a little different as where the CW, you can see this is very much a lower profile as where the CT, it's ramped up a little bit on the rear. Front, pretty much identical. Let's get these on the scale, load them up. And see the difference in weight. Here we have the CT380 with a full magazine and not a round of the chamber. Seven rounds weighing in at 15 and one quarter ounce. And here's the CW380 in the same condition with six rounds in the magazine 
weighing in at 13 and 3 8 ounces. That's amazing. My shooting impressions for these guns both very, very good. There was hardly a difference between the two other than the larger grip and the additional round with the CT over the CW, but they both shot good, both very accurate. I had about 200 rounds through each of them and had very few issues. I had a couple at the beginning, and, and that's normal. That's why the manufacturer says that you need to put a 300-round break-in period in with cards because they're machined so tight. The upside of that is... The tightness means very little play within the slide in the frame and the internals, and you get an extremely accurate gun, and I'll take that any day. I've owned these 380s for over a month now, and I've carried them both on occasion. It took a lot to get me away from the CM9, but they just carry so comfortably, and I wanted to make sure that I had some carry time and some range time before I made this review, and I have to say they are very, very comfortable, very small, light, Excellent option. I'm not worried about 380 ACP and the difference of the size of the round uh, compared to other rounds. Now, I've, I've done some range testing with 380s way back before I even began to make videos. And I have to tell you, it penetrated through a lot more than what people think. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.